Me considero azteco. I see myself as an Aztec, ¿Se puede decir and I carry the roots of my culture within me. I've worked in farming since I was a boy. My grandparents once grew vegetables such as lettuce on this land. Today, the work is done by my father, my brother, and me. Asael is paddling to his chinampa, part of a sustainable farming system established by his Aztec forefathers 500 years ago. Chinampas are artificial islands made from mud and reeds and separated by canals. They're typically 300 meters long and 15 meters wide. To this day, farming is done by hand with no help from tractors or plows. We use buckets to take the water and the mud that we need straight from the canals. Then we transport it all in our boats. After drying out the mud, we plant the seeds in the resulting soil. It's a technique used centuries ago by our ancestors, the Aztecs, and it's very efficient. Asael harvests the produce from his chinampa up to five times a year. He sells the vegetables to restaurants in downtown Mexico City. The historic center is just 20 kilometers away. The chinampas are one of the last remaining oases in the sprawling megacity. 500 kilometers away, on the coast of the Gulf of Mexico, Flor Aronis Cruz is hoping Chinampas will make her life easier. Empty again. She catches fish and crabs for a living, but today's catch is modest. She set up 20 traps, which have ensnared just eight crabs. There used to be a lot more crabs here. At this time of year, there'd already be really big ones, but there was nothing today. Normally, we'd have more crabs when the current comes, but that's not the case. We're really noticing the change. For the crabs, finding refuge along the coast is becoming increasingly difficult due to deforestation. Mangroves have suffered especially heavy losses and have been depleted by over 30 percent over the past 40 years. That means the disappearance of a crucial protective habitat for local animals. These people are determined to revive those havens in a regional mangrove planting scheme. Nobody here is bothered about getting their fingers dirty. It's actually kind of fun. The men are building chinampas, just as the Aztecs did 500 years ago. The little islands of earth and reeds will provide homes for the mangroves to thrive in. We're using the technique because the land is so deep in the water. The plant wouldn't grow without the support of the chinampa. It would be blown over by the first gust of wind. The mangrove reforestation scheme is organized by Sitlali Alheli and her team from the Pro Natura Conservation Group. They initially had difficulty reintroducing mangroves in the coastal regions. They wouldn't grow because the water level was too high. It's surprising to see this old chinampa technique from central Mexico, one that's being used here on the Gulf to help replenish mangroves. It's great to be creating a link to our heritage and also that people from the region are involved in the project. Mangroves used to be everywhere here, but they've now been replaced by pasture land right up to the shore, grazed by cattle in a traditional fishing region. Flor Aronis Cruz and her family are pinning their hopes on the conservation group and the Chinampas. Once the mangrove forests have been restored, their haul of fish and crabs should grow again as well. Floor and her husband and son took part in the planting project, helping to re-establish the old ecosystem. I was practically born in the water, in the river. I never went to school. But one of the few things I do know about the world is how important the mangroves are for us and the entire system, for all the species, for everyone and everything.
back in the centre of the country, the suburbs of the capital have been creeping ever closer to the Chinampas in recent years. Asael and the other farmers are concerned about their fields. The biggest danger for this old method of sustainable farming is humankind itself. Wherever people go, they pollute. They leave trash everywhere, including in the canals. Eventually, they fill up and dry out, and you can't row down them anymore. The canals become dirty. Asael would like to see his children take over his chinampa one day, passing on a piece of their Aztec heritage.